Jerks, Bram, good to see ya. Actually kind of on time, only a little, only a little sloth meter. How's it going? Shaded, Shaded Cobra, welcome to the stream. I also can't wait for console. You can't wait either. We're taking a short break. Oh my goodness, Catalyst Creations. 13 freaking months, over a year of support. Catalyst, thank you so very much, dude. Good to see ya. Watching the trailer, I have no idea how much stuff you've added to the game since launch. A lot. A lot! It was in early access for two years, and then it's been 10 months now since launch, or 11 months. Kind of crazy. Every time I think the Shotgun Farmer's journey is going to end. Little Wubby, thank you for the follow. What's up, Onyx? Every time I think the Shotgun Farmer's journey is, like, getting close to an end, it just starts up all over again, and here we are. Uh, we've got more players than ever before. The servers are uh, actually have lobbies going, and new people join our Discord every day. Dozens of new people join Discord. I want to say we're almost at 3,000? Let's see, what's our what's our current Discord member account? It's been absolute insanity. Insanity. We are, oh my God, we are over 3,000 followers. 3,055 members in the Shotgun Farmers Discord. I did not even realize we passed 3,000. I was gonna make a graphic for it, but I guess that time's over now. Oh man. What's up, old killer? It's, it's been crazy. The Discord's been growing insanely. The TikTok's been going going crazy. Uh, it's just, just been awesome meeting so many new farmers and new players. Um, it's been really cool. It's been like a, it's almost been like a delayed launch. It's as if Shotgun Farmers just came out for the first time. All these people are hearing about it for the first time. People are talking about it all the time. Uh, do I have any codes? There are currently no codes you can use, Little Wubby, but there will be one soon. And the first place you're going to be able to see it is TikTok. So keep an eye out for that. There's currently no codes you can use. Um, but yeah, it just kind of feels like Shotgun Farmers just came out and all these people are finding out about it all over again. What's up, MS Gamer? Happy Monday. Monday is my favorite day of the week because it's the day I get to get back to work. What's up, Slimy Lizard? Oh, thank you so much for playing the game. I appreciate it. Um, I actually have... Oh, it's kind of in the frame. I have my, uh, my phone set up here to record a time lapse of today's stream. But if the battery doesn't die... I probably actually turn this on. Video, or no, time lapse, no. Hopefully I'm not blocking too much of the camera with my big arm. What's up, RBS? How's it going? Um, hmm. So I've, I did a bunch of work on the straw brewery all weekend. I decided to work through most of the weekend. I took a little bit of time off um, yesterday or Saturday. One of those days, Saturday. Otherwise, I've been working on the Valentine's Day update because I want to get it done, especially as we can get back to working on the console stuff. Uh, so let me show you guys what I have so far. I just realized the straw brewery doesn't have any sound effects. Need sound, oops. Need whoa sound effects. I didn't have time to reach out to Ben Lusted who did the sound design for Shotgun Farmers. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make sounds by the end of the week, so I might just put some placeholder and sounds for now and reach out to him to replace the sounds in a later update. Which is kind of how I roll. Temporary placeholders all day, every day. Um so Slots found a couple of bugs. I actually forgot about this bug. For some reason, every now and again when you fire the strawberry. It's on fire, like the bow is, the arrow's on fire. Um, we'll look into that. We have an error. I wanna change this. Uh, I don't, you don't like this play mode color thing. I like my Unity without the blue color. No tint. Um, Strawberry, did I see the bug you put in Discord? I did not. 
Oh, how recent was it? Oh, here we go. There is no icon in the square, so I didn't know what bottom I can try to press to pick it up. I did figure it out, but I thought you should know. What? What the hell? Okay, thanks, RBS. Right, let me note that down right now, because I had to fix that immediately before the update. So that's when you're using a controller, like an Xbox controller, or what kind of controller were you using? Sorry, I missed that bug report. Bo's gonna hold the mechanic. Yeah, I hope it does not completely broken. What's up, Dennis? Decide the bow could use some love. What do you think we can do? Um, yeah, the bow is uh it's pretty different from any other weapon in the game. Oh, Dennis, I enlarged, uh, I engorged the strawberry even more uh, in this model. Um, if you are gonna work on it, let me know. I'll send you the. I can just send it to you whenever this this model. I messed with a couple of proportions uh, for the first person version. Do a pineapple weapon? Why, yes, we do. It's called the pineapponade. It's a grenade. Oops, that was my teammate. So yeah, we gotta work on the, the string. I totally forgot about the string for the bow and arrow. Uh, why is my frame rate so crazy? Because I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, so I got um, the bow pulling back. It actually pulls back kind of slow. I wanna see how I can fix that. Um, we got it firing and then you actually knock your arrow. So it actually kind of like has a reload animation now before the arrow would just appear in the middle of, uh, the bow. Um, you can aim it and when you aim it, it'll pick it up and hold it like a normal arrow. Yeah. Onyx, the cherry bomb is a really cool idea because it's a good play on words because it's an actual thing. Yeah. I guess more vines would probably help it look, um, more interesting. That's the unfortunate thing about once the stuff gets into game is that a lot of the art gets lost. I mean, it looks pretty cool in third person. In first person, a lot of it gets covered by the hand and stuff. I mean, maybe we could extend the vines further down the bow or something. But I'm not sure if you're able to do it because this update's probably have to come out before Friday since that's Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, so I try to make it so that the bow actually shoots more in the center of your screen. So if you aim at something like this horse's eyeball, You'll actually shoot him right in the eye, which is pretty horrific when you think about it. Um, I actually tested it by sh trying to constantly shoot at this little hole in the barrel. Maybe the shotgun needs more range, little wubby? Interesting. Uh, it does heal your teammates and also impales them in the face. It does have bullet drop, which actually makes it pretty difficult to play with because I'm not used to that. Okay, yeah, so that bow was on fire. Huh, look, this arrow is, oh, it's gone. Can't be cakes, thank you for the follow. That arrow is on fire. So I did make it so that if you shoot your arrow through fire, it'll catch on fire. Let me try to shoot this way. If you shoot through fire, it'll actually catch on fire. Why isn't it? Huh, there it is. See that arrow's on fire. I also made it so it does plant seeds now. And the strawberry plant will grow. So like a big bow just grows out of the ground. Cherry Bomb could be the equivalent of the nuke in Call of Duty. Oh my goodness. That would be devastating. Vals, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you can see the little uh, bow plant growing. I decided to include the strawberry with it because I figured it should show the actual fruit, not just be a bow in the ground. This one actually has a string because that's the string that Dennis made. We need to actually make a string for our bow uh, that animates with the arrow. And I also made it in third person, so your character is actually holding the bow. They actually pull their fist into their cheek. Um, I guess I could try to move that a little bit more forward. Let me double check. The shotgun tip is there. I guess the rocket launcher does come pretty far out. The bow is already pretty far in front though, so I'm not sure if I could fix that, that you actually pull the bow into your face. Uh, oh, this thing. Um, if you, the further you pull the bow back, the further your arrow will go. So this is max range. This is barely hitting it at all. This is halfway. So you can see the bow will actually travel further distances. And the further it travels, the more damage it does as well. Although I think the damage is currently not that working that well. Um, it doesn't feel as consistent. But that headshot's a kill because it's from further away. And then this headshot I think should also be a kill, but it's not because the bow didn't travel that far. And so it doesn't do as much dis uh, damage. Also, the, the, the knockback direction seems to be wrong. 
If I kill this guy facing forward, their body comes flying towards me instead of flying backwards. Okay. So let's make a note of that. Um, so bow randomly on fire. I do know the bots are having a lot of trouble shooting the bow right now because there's nothing like this ever existed before. So they don't have any proper logic for this kind of a weapon that they have to actually pull back and then like release. Hey, little Wubby, I saw, I saw your comment about the shotgun range. Um, yeah, I'll show you, show you the model in a second. Uh, bow randomly on fire and ragdolls flying wrong direction from bow. Okay, let's find this model. I'm so excited. I'm finally starting to build uh, a desktop PC. I haven't bought the parts yet, but I'm trying to put, part, put stuff together. I'm really excited to move away from this laptop, which really can't seem to handle um, streaming and console development as much. Like right now, it's absolutely checking. Ow, I just hurt my tooth. Uh, the game is made in C-sharp, Valves. You make Twitch Rambler for Shotgun Farmers one time? What do you mean? I don't think I've ever done Twitch Prime Loot for Shotgun Farmers. I reached out to them three years ago, and a representative at Twitch said they were interested, but then um, I haven't heard back. I, I messed them a couple of times, but then nothing came of it. What was I going to do? Oh, send Dennis the model. Bo, 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 bo. Strawberry Bow V3. Did that not work? Uh, so let's look at why the arrow might be catching on fire. So I tried to make it so that if you shoot arrow through fire, it catches on fire. Although someone on TikTok today made another really good scope point, which is you should be able to actually like just dip your arrow into fire to light it on fire. And like I think that should be pretty easy to do. Let's look at how an arrow lights on fire. So currently, if you hit, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I'm just checking on the layer event trigger. If you hit an event trigger, then the arrow catches on fire, but there must be all kinds of event triggers in the game besides fire. So I should be checking if it's actually a burn trigger. So I'm gonna say burn trigger, burn equals um, hit ray dot transform dot get component. And if that exists, then catch on fire. So that means the arrow is just randomly catching on fire right now when it goes through like spawn areas or the water probably is also an event trigger. So that'll light people on fire. I changed my Cintiq in the tools. That's true. I do. Um, I'm going to wait because I'm hoping to get the uh, Wacom just came out with a mini Cintiq. So I sold my Cintiq last year. Um, so I don't have it anymore. And Wacom just released something called the Cintiq 1 or is it called the Wacom 1? Wacom one, and it's their introductory rare uh, Cintiq line. So as a, the regular Cintiq, which is like two thousand dollars, this Cintiq's only like four hundred dollars or like three hundred dollars, um, and it's only thirteen inches, so it's much smaller and compact. You could take it with you uh, on the go, which is really exciting. I just want to try it out first because I'm not sure if it's uh, going to fit my needs or not. What's up, Sethi? So I gotta return to HD, yeah. I gotta write that down to do that on the bot. I'm pretty sure this is why arrows are sometimes randomly on fire. I don't know what other event triggers there are, but whatever. Um, and then ragdoll direction.
assuming it's coming from this. I actually want to pass in my negative normal. Oh no, it's, I'm, I'm, my origin is wrong. That might be why. Origin is actually my uh, M start position. Try that out. A bunch of errors. What the? What is that? Some gooey stuff. We don't care. Uh oh, wrong thing. I think the chat is really hard to see. Unity has so much um, stuff going on. I need to figure out a better Twitch layout, I think. So, I think we're still compiling. We gotta work on the bow string, and a lot of the, a lot of people have been asking if the arrow can actually go through stuff. Um, see Onyx, and actually realize it won't be that hard to do since the arrow works completely based on raycast and not um, not the uh, colliders. So right now, when the ray hits something, it immediately stops and pierces that or, and, and impales that object. What we can do is if that object is an actor, so a zombie um, or a player, then it doesn't stop and it keeps going and therefore it can pierce multiple objects. But you'll have to keep track of what it's already hurt so it can't hurt the same person twice. Um, and then once it hits a wall, then it'll stop moving. And then we could put, potentially there should be limits maybe of how many people it can go through. Um, but it would be pretty cool to mow down an entire line of zombies with one arrow. Bad thing about that is it'll, or the crappy thing about that is it takes away impaling other players, or maybe that's fine. It looks kind of awkward when people are running around with arrows in their face anyway. What's up, sheep? So I think it will still impale animals so that you can use them as cover. Um, it actually doesn't impale the chicken currently. You'll have to look into. Um, I think I know why. But for players, it'll actually shoot through them so you can actually potentially heal multiple teammates or damage multiple enemies. I think it'll be pretty easy to do. Uh, what do we just do? We just fix the randomly catching on fire. Be faster and more accurate if you stand still. Oh, that's true. Yeah, moving should decrease the accuracy. Does it catch on fire? Okay, so it still catches on fire when it goes through fire. That one, oh God. Oh, I guess it should always be on fire if you're on fire, right? If I'm on fire, then my arrow should be on fire. You wear a green arrow, more like strawberry arrow, strawberry arrow, new superhero from DC Comics. But sometimes when you're really close to stuff, it won't hit it. That one went through the cow, and it's supposed to have detected that the cow was there. The second time it detected it. Gosh, that's huge. Not sure why that happened. The wall. Yeah, it sometimes goes right through the wall. Huh. Shoot, I, I'm pretty sure I fixed, I thought I worked on that. See, that time it didn't go through. Hmm. I see. I guess it, it's because of where it's spawning.
something to do with spawn position. Snacks, thank you for the follow. So it's supposed to... Sethy boy, thank you for the follow as well. When you're checking for something fire into us, you're supposed to cast the line from the camera to where the projectile would spawn. I can do uh, cast it forward from there. Okay, and here we'll do um, void, look for fire. We're going to cast a different ray cast. So serialized field um, arrow tip locator. Come across a state error in the editor? No, what state error? Is one of the. Um, was that the Trello card with like the really weird error? Uh, serialized field basically takes a private variable and makes it uh, publicly accessible in Unity Editor without making it publicly accessible to any other class. So basically it takes a variable that should be private, but lets me edit it here in the inspector. I did see a weird, uh, yeah, the go-to state one. I didn't get, I have to look at it. I think maybe it's the animator. What's up, Captain Space? How's it going? I wonder if this won't work if you're inside a fire. This means the player is on fire anyway. Like you guys, C sharp. Uh, just practice watching lots of YouTube videos. Um, it really helped me to look at how the people make their games and then try to learn from that so I know how to apply it to my games and slowly build my own um, style. Sometimes I would just download tutorials or assets and just kind of look at what they did to build their platformer or shooter or whatever. The raycast, I'm pretty sure it's position, direction. Uh, position, direction, ray, sex size, and then the map. 
question is, the hell's our mask here? So just make it public. Burnable, um, arrow burn. What's happening? This should light our arrow on fire. So what's the problem here? Oh, this is a mask. It's supposed to be a layer mask. We're going to want to actually draw this ray for our own debug purposes. It's going to be this position. an update we're gonna skip it if um, our fake arrow is disabled and what is it called like ammo object What's up, XD? False arrow. So that object is disabled and we don't care because we can't light it on fire. Now there's a thing that makes our popcorn happen. It's gonna be the same thing that lights this thing on fire. Um, something about a weapon causes it to burn. What the hell makes the shotgun turn into popcorn? Something. I guess we look at on burn. The player catches on fire. We call player.burn on network. Then we call burn from server. And the weapon manager starts burning. And current weapon model dot on burn. Oh, it actually happens in the weapon. God damn it. Okay. It doesn't seem to matter if this is false. We don't actually have to do this because the pop.
Popcorn is just a visual aesthetic. Bone Arrow knows it's happening. So bull play are burning equals current owner burnable or current owner is burning. So if we're not already burning, then burning is this raycast. If we're not already on fire, then check to see if there's fire in front of us. When is the game coming out on PS4, Shining God? I can't say yet. I hope to announce it as soon as possible. Uh, the console companies don't like it when you say, uh, they don't want us to announce the game until we've gotten through all of their processes and got everything approved. So then if we are burning, we have a burnable arrow, light that arrow on fire. And then when we fire our arrow, here, projectile prefab, current owner should projectile. Huh. How the hell do we light our own arrow on fire? We are increase this RPC. What grow animation does the bell have? Uh, I currently just it starts tiny and it gets bigger like the other um, plants. I can show you in a second. Do we have something called kill type? There's a kill type burn. Okay, so I can. Add it here, kill type. Kill type equals I forgot what the kill types are. We'll just call it kill. Do you think there's gonna be a time where you sit back in your chair and say I'm happy with this? I don't think I want to add any new content. Yeah, you know, actually that's a great question. It's kind of an interesting problem with a multiplayer game. Um, because in the modern age, multiplayer games kind of expect are expected to grow and add content updates um, to keep the community engaged. Um, so I've been thinking about that recently too. Like at which point is Shocker Farmers going to be content full? But with multiplayer games, I wonder if that even ever happens until it's time for the game to just kind of uh, settle down and not really um, have any new stuff to it. Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure it'll be, for me personally, it'll be when I'm, much more invested into my next project and heavily working on the next game. Um, but even then, I expect to still put out some updates for the Shotgun Farmers as long as, really, I guess as long as the community is there and people are playing the game, then I think they deserve to have updates to the game. It also helps the game then get to new people and get um, uh, get discovered by new players as well. There are a lot of people um, that I know are actually surprised when they find out I'm still working on Shotgun Farmers. And yeah, if I hadn't continued to work on it, oh my goodness! Storm and Jezzer, thank you for the box. That scared the crap out of me. Um, yeah, a lot of people are really surprised when they find out I'm still working on Shotgun Farmers, but ironically, if I didn't continue working on it, it probably wouldn't have reached the level of success that it's releasing now today. Uh, and there's no way to guarantee that the next game I would have made um, would have been successful. 
So I'm actually really glad to know that sticking it out and continuing to work on the game ended up uh, taking me to a point where I can actually consider the game a success and actually be um, consider myself a success, I guess. It is not working. Light kill type. Oh, I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, thanks, Dennis. I need your support. You're the genius artist behind the weapons. Okay, so here we'll say if kill type kill type equals kill type dot burn right then burnable equals projectile dot get component burnable oops burnable proj burn if proj burn proj burn dot show fx uh, this player and the weapon type well, why is this happening twice All right, so what this is doing is if I'm on fire and I shoot a bow while I'm on fire, then my arrow should be on fire. And I know it seems unnecessary, but I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, you know, XD, I kind of didn't realize that when I set out to make Shotgun Farmers. I just kind of wanted to make my first multiplayer game for fun. I didn't realize I was going to make a four years games as a service project. I genuinely did not. This was originally going to be a six month project. It's now been over three years. New mode, only bows and no shields. Oh, snap. So the, there is a new mode that I'm making for Valentine's Day. It's called Strawberry Fields. And uh, it's going to be the, you spawn with bows. Other guns will still be available. So it's not only bows. I, I tried with only bows and I thought it would get kind of boring for new players who don't know about the other guns. So you can still, and, and the bows interact interestingly with other guns too. Because like if you're show, someone's shooting a flamethrower, you should be able to shoot your arrow through their flamethrower to light your bow on fire and light your arrow on fire and kill them. So I want to make sure it mixes with the other guns as well. You could technically shoot rocket launchers out of, or like rockets out of the sky with your arrows, um, all kinds of stuff. The question is, when are you going to get a Saturday morning cartoon featuring Bok Bok? Are Saturday morning cartoons still a thing? I wonder. I don't have a TV anymore. Ewe, thank you for the follow. Thanks, XD. I'm glad I continued it too. Definitely did not expect to say in 2020 I was working on an update for Shotgun Farmers, but it's pretty awesome that there's enough players and new people find the game uh, that we can and what's been great is that the more people that are visiting shotgun farmers on steam visiting our website um, and discovering the game the more steam is now pushing that game out to other people and recommending it to other players which has been awesome our uh, in steam's analytics it shows you their recommended like their uh, how, how many times you you show up on recommended for other game or like recommended games on other games you know like when steam says games like this kind of thing um and our number has gotten way higher whereas in the past Steam completely ignored Shotgun Farmers as a game that even existed. But now since so many people are visiting the store page uh, and wishlisting it uh, and, and, and buying it, it's actually making Steam recommend our game more to other players, which has been um, one of the big things that's going to help the game grow. Thanks for watching on uh, TikTok. Do you prefer Iwi or Kovac or Kovacek? Kovacek. 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 They, the game must grow like crops, yeah. It, it is really surprising to see the green grow now, but I'll take it. And it's in perfect timing because it'll hopefully lead into a bigger um, hype explosion once we're on consoles with crossplay. It's always so hard for me not to accidentally say the console names. I'm pretty sure sometimes I have. Uh, but it's gonna be so exciting when we have crossplay working um, and everyone can play across platform. I know a lot of people can't play Shotgun Farmers Especially the people um, comment on TikTok who don't have a PC, don't have Steam, uh, and don't have a computer that can run games, and they want to play on their consoles. So I'm really excited that once crossplay is happening, and we just got all the consoles and all the Steam players playing together, and everyone's farming, and there's going to be millions of bugs, and I'm going to regret everything. But we got to try to fix as many bugs as we can by then. That's for sure. 
Yeah, the hype is gonna be really cool. I can't wait. In the last update, we were able to fix like a handful of like really, really deep bugs that I'm proud of, like the plants dying when you join a game and stuff like that. Uh, but now there are newer bugs. So newer bugs have always been there, but not been as much of a problem. Like when you try to join a room and it says error joining room, I got to fix that. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. That's a big one that drives me crazy because that's not going to be, I think that might actually fail us on console if that error pops up because they're not going to let us, it's not like a clear message to the player. I think the sniper is still better. The bow takes, uh oh, I forgot to actually set up the bow. The bow takes quite a bit because it has a weapon, it has bullet drop. No other gun in the game has bullet drop since until now. I guess the grenades do kind of, but not really. They're, you throw them. But the bow actually has bullet drop, so you have to actually like aim ahead and like aim above. You have to take the wind into account, like lick your finger and stick it up in the air to check the wind. Okay, so the fake arrow needs to be burnable. And it's a single mesh render. And the bow needs to know about its burnable fake arrow. And its arrow tip locator. And the fire mask, which is um, Event trigger, it's also going to be actor. I want to say that's it. Let me see, what's the flamethrower? This is the cone of damage in the flamethrower. The damage cone, no, that's not actually the damage cone, is it? It's just in the default layer? What? I don't want to mess with that, but what? If I change that, I might break everything. God damn it. That's going to make the performance on the bow way lower if we have to check the default layer because everything's in the default layer. This should not wait. Maybe, maybe does a script change it? What if the script just changes it? Mm, I guess not. I have no idea what happens if we switch this from default layer to event trigger layer. So that might mean it won't hit other stuff anymore. But it's incredibly bad for performance if it's on the default layer because the default layer interacts with everything. And that means it's interacting with stuff that it doesn't need to be interacting with. So we gotta work on the string. It shouldn't be too hard. I don't know why I haven't. I keep forgetting to work on that. We gotta check on the ragdolls. And the, the bug RBS found with control. Can't wait to have a desktop. Streaming is going to be 10 times faster. I'll stream 10 times longer. Let's see. Uh, okay, your body didn't go anywhere. Nope, your bodies are still going the wrong way. Oop, missed that. All right, what was the other thing? Oh, catching on fire. I'm on fire, the arrow I shoot out is supposed to also be on fire, but it's not. 
Oh, they never, I never actually passed the value. Oh yeah, test the flamethrower thing, Serbian. I already forgot, I completely, I completely forgot I did that. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, kill type. If burnable, what would I call it? Burning? I guess we just gotta check it this. It says the flamethrower too. I should write that down just in case I forget again. First flamethrower. I really want to work on the Cupid costume today too, but I'm not sure if we're gonna have time. Might have to do that tomorrow. I want to release a new costume with this update. Um, Laser Sofa did an amazing job at a new concept for it. I don't think I've showed it on stream yet. He, made, he actually did two concepts. I don't know if I can make both because it's twice the amount of work, but we could probably release the other one another time. Uh, so yeah. Actually, I'm not sure if I saved it. Check this out. How awesome is it? How awesome is this? It's a Cupid and Devil costume, potentially to unlock for the Valentine's Day update. Now the problem is, how the hell am I gonna make this in two days? I'll tell you how. A lot of crying. You have four days left to make it. I also gotta figure out how to um, give the player wings. That's never been done before. And so, yeah, I don't think the devil one's going to make it into this round, but we can always release that as another costume, you know, a few weeks from now or something. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really excited. I think it'll be cool. It'll be the first winged. Oh, I got to make sure the wings don't get clipped by the weapons. They're going to clip by most of the weapons, like the rocket launcher and stuff, but... I gotta put the wings out far enough so that when your guns and your shovels are on your back, the wings aren't clipping them too much. And they probably won't flap in this version, but maybe in a future version I can make them flap. Leon, they're thinking of the follow. Oh yeah, I can make the wings float behind their back. Yeah, because we don't have limbs. Good idea, didn't it? And after that, people are going to want to start unlocking back gear, like backpacks, and what else goes in your back? Fanny packs. I really want to make, uh, I really want to make a, a, a quiver of arrows that go on your hip for this weapon, but I don't think that's going to happen in time, so we'll save that for a future update. Let's test the flamethrower real quick. Make sure that's working. I can hit animals. Hit the chicken. I don't think I have any props. Let's try to burn some plants. Everything is burning correctly. I explode pumpkins. Okay. I guess, yeah, I guess scale up the holster and just stuff it with arrows. 
The holster has stitching on it, so that might look problematic. Actually, Dennis, Dennis, if you're working on the strawberry today, could we round it a little bit more? Like give it some more polygons on the strawberry so it looks more rounded when you're looking at it? Thanks, dude. You are the actual best. Because remember this weekend, I've been having a blast. So I thought I'd pop in the stream. Awesome, Shiva. Thanks for playing the game. What's your favorite weapon? Is it the strawberry? Hey, why isn't that thing going away? This team deathmatch eliminate the other team thing. Why the hell is that still there? I got the I got the point. I got the point. There's no errors. That's bizarre. Has that been there this whole time? We've been streaming? Never gonna be so large. Yeah, sorry. Everything's large in the shotgun flamers world. Okay, so we we're gonna test. If I'm on fire, is my arrow on fire? And the answer is I can't see because of that. Okay, cool. So I'm now shooting flaming arrows as long as I'm on fire. But not every time. It's interesting. That one was on fire. That one was not on fire. That one was on fire. Is because the game hasn't started yet? Well, the timer is actually going up top. It says 14 minutes. Don't tell me that's a new bug. There's so many people with the pumpkins. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. What's up, Mac Mac? How's it going? The M16 has been fun. Nice. I'm glad. That was the first automatic weapon we had. I was nervous. Um, I'm glad you're having fun with it. The bow is going to be interesting. What's up, Noodle? I'm really worried about the bow. It is drastically different from every other weapon in the game, more than I could have anticipated. I had their coat. I thought it was gonna be a lot simpler to make than it was. I didn't realize how much goes into a bow. Like, arrow flies further based on how much you pull the string. It does more damage based on distance. I'm spending three days making it light on fire. Um, I tested it today and it seems to be synchronizing properly on the network. A cucumber cannon. We could put it on a cucumber pirate ship too. This time the alert went away, so I'm not sure what the hell's happened. I hope that's not a new problem. Looks like only my first one's on fire. Let's debug that. Thanks for the pumpkin shot it and you got something. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, you know, there aren't any other exploding props anywhere else in the uh, game. Oh, okay, that's stuff like that. A lot of people have ideas for weapons, and maybe if they can't become weapons, we can integrate them into just props, like exploding uh, melons. Exploding melons. What's up, Robson? How's it going, little foot? You had your daily dose of strawberries? Ugh. All right. So our kill type is set to kill. Good. Now I'm going to light myself on fire. The strawberry is not actually lit on fire. Kill type is burn. Good. Light, shoot a second one. Kill type is burn. What? 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 Oh, wait. I have an idea. We have scarecrows? Yeah, the king of the hill game mode is with scarecrow. What gun are we gonna make next? I can't say. It's a secret. It's a secret, and I also don't know. Well, I kind of know. Okay, I know. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, no, I know. I know. I know. I actually do know. Actually, no one else knows. If I die, no one will ever know what gun. Was. Well, laser would know. Don't ask him. Maybe a date dark gun. Oh my god, that's awesome. That would have been great for Valentine's Day too. Uh. What was I doing? Oh, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not on fire. 
Oh, look at all the bows I grew. Maybe sure you can lift up hay and find extra gnomes. That would be really hard to make. I did once make a hideable haystack. Have you guys, has anyone in chat seen this? Oh, my computer's frozen. It exists. This was Dwarven Jester's idea. Never finished it and put it in the game, but it got prototyped. It just had a lot of gameplay problems. And Fortnite ended up doing it anyway, so whatever. I did it before them. These are haystacks that you can actually hide inside of. No one can see you coming. Uzukini. I've seen a couple of notions of Uzukini. It seems an interesting idea. Bring us out on fire makes arrows burn too. It's supposed to, but it's not working. When I slip my ideas, no, I don't doubt it. Lime landmine. There is something lemony coming soon. Well, I don't know about soon. In general. Par sniper, that would have been good. I still want to make a... Okay, so wait, wait, I changed my mind. I wanted to make a laser sight sniper, but then I realized, how the hell do laser sni snipers work in the game? Does it actually shoot a laser across the whole level? Because that would look insane. I'm wondering if this is not resetting. It's supposed to. Stops the coroutine, clears. Oh, it's probably this delay. Jackfruit Javelin, I love it. See how my time lapse went. Pretty cool, you guys are in it. You're in the time lapse. Awesome. Oh, I love time lapses. I'm gonna make another one. I find time lapses to be great content for um, social media, especially Instagram, and I wanna start doing more on TikTok as well. Thanks, Dennis. Strawberry bow V4. Let's see if Blender has ruined our lives. Playing game on TikTok and you bought two copies for you and your friend? Oh, thanks, Shiba. That means a lot. Now, I've been really, really enjoying um, posting on TikTok. It's, uh, it's so much fun. I get to do such crazy kinds of content that I wouldn't normally make on like Instagram or Twitter. Damn it. Wait, is there... Why the hell won't you drag in? Drop, drag and drop. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to import it from Maya. Actually, let's look at it though. Ooh, ah, can't see it yet. Oh God, what, where am I? This is what happens when I bring it in from Blender. Then as you can see, it's like, this is the origin. This is the actual model over here. Where did it go? Gone forever. There it is. I don't know how the hell Blender pivots come into Unity. It seems crazy. Uh, I use Maya, but Dennis is just transitioning into using Blender. Although I'm getting closer and closer and closer to insisting he use Maya. <laughs> Even if I have to pay for it. Yeah, I know. That's what's crazy. It's, I don't think it's anything you're doing. I think it's just the way Blender talks to FBX files that came out of Maya. Don't you miss Maya, Dennis? Don't you miss it? Love is expensive. I know, I mean, if we're gonna keep working on weapons and I think uh, I will look into getting it for you because if it speeds up our workflow, like this will just be a waste of time if we have to keep doing this for all of our future assets. Yeah, so the pivot, even in Maya, the pivot is uh, down there somewhere, which is crazy, right? The scale is correct now. At least the scale is not 100, 100, 100 like it used to be. Oh yeah, that strawberry is pointier, nice. And juicier and roundier. Okay, so this is the bow. Arrow. I'm on G Fuel. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, this is now a sponsored stream. Yeah, it doesn't look like a heart. I like the touch. Makes it more Valentine's y. Shiva, thank you for the follow as well. If you're watching the show and you haven't followed yet, you should. It guarantees you at least one hour of joy in your life or your money back. Hey, how do I get the follow which command? I've seen people um, try to do that a couple of times. Where does that come from? Is that a bot? G Fuel, thank you for buying shotgun farmers. I appreciate the support. One of the best game you play in a while, that means a lot. Thank you. Thanks for playing the game. Oh my god, look what I named this folder. It says Bow and Arao. I'm very professional. If you have any suggestions or feedback, G Feel, please feel free to tell me. Down over here. 
Oh no, it moves. Crap, the pivot's different. Wait, why is that? Oh, because the string's out there, maybe? I don't know. I think the old one has the pivot from the string. I want these guys to line up just right. That one moved a little bit, but it's fine. Nightbot. Okay, I'll look into that. That being the for shotgun bars. Well, you can probably get the um, trial for Maya to start. But no, keep using Blender. I mean, it's I think it's good to learn both. I have to learn Blender too. It'll make me stop you, but I think as we keep working on more assets, um, let's get you Maya so it's easier. Hopefully they gave me a discount if I do like multiple seats or whatever, like multi-licenses. Maybe that's a thing. Uh, legally, we can't use the student version to make commercial games. Press on the feature on the map to so just add like a faint bell in the background at the end of the game. What do you mean, XD? I'm not sure I understand. Do Dark Memories come out on console? Uh, yes. What console? I can't say yet, but we're working very hard on it. When I drag this, it starts dragging the other thing. It's really weird. That's just my CPU not being able to catch up. the gun you drop on the ground. Uh, I'm actually, Dennis, I'm actually grandfathered into the uh, older price point, which is good. If I get your license through my account, it'll be cheaper. What's up, Dark Shadow? How do you get the getting started achievement? That's a good question. How do you? The Dragon Spitter, what? What's that? I, I didn't see that one in the Discord. A mystery bank, <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh crap, these use the bow combined. Plant and the gun drops have the rope merged and in, merged into them. Nobody will notice the difference. We'll come do another combined version at another time. Okay. Um. What have I been doing with my life? Ragdoll Force. Is in the same jazz? Nice. I love jazz. Especially like chill jazz kind of music. Cucumber Cutter and Mystery Mango. Those are awesome names. You guys are really good at coming with weapon names. Why did you call the pineapple that and not something like lemonade? Uh, it was a pineapple before it was a lemon. Lemonade is going to be something uh, a little different. I call it the Panapinade because the MK2 grenade, have you ever seen that? It looks like a pineapple. And actually, some people call it the pineapple grenade. 
That's why I wanted to make it a pineapple. When will it be on Xbox? I'm not sure. But keep or keep or stay tuned to find out. I'm gonna announce consoles as soon as I can. Feel free to copy all the code you want. It's completely useless and a mess. Um, I'm trying to look at why the arrow knocks the dead bodies forward and not away. Uh, okay, let's go to take damage. Let's go to where we get our ragdoll force. So when a player dies, it's passed in a hit direction. And so I'm guessing that's coming from this normal. Play the new gen console? What do you mean, MS Gamer? Like put shotgun farmers in the new generation consoles? Maybe it could be like the sniper that's already in game and instead of shooting as soon as you click, there's a fixed delay for a few seconds and once those seconds have passed, the gun fires like a semi aggressive and even a body shot will kill by doing 75. Oh wait, you're talking about a laser gun. That could be fun too. I was just talking about a laser sights, but a laser gun would be freaking awesome. Like the Spartan laser in Halo. Making a new console for the game. We could make, we could launch the first ever um, shotgun station, melon mortar. Oh my God, that's great. That's when someone is killed, it grows that weapon they had in their hand, but it dies twice as quick. Well, I mean, so they actually drop their gun. So if you kill someone, their gun will be on the ground next to them. Gorian, thank you for buying shotgun farmers. I appreciate the support. The orange juicer. Oh man, I've seen the orange juicer on Discord. And I thought that was pretty great already, but I couldn't do liquid physics. So if the juice was just a laser, that could actually be a thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Somebody remember that, because I'm gonna forget. One in the chamber you where you kill extra bullets and it's one shot. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Why am I on fire anyway? How did I just catch on fire? Did I press something? Oh, okay, that, that killed me. I got a missing reference exception. What's up, Chili Pug? Oh, that kills me too. I think there's a button that lights me on fire. What? What? Ah, oh, crap. What have I done? Ooh, a laser beam. That's pretty good. So sometimes when you look at another person, your arrow lights on fire. Um, I was talking about like an alternative sniper weapon, but I like the idea of a laser gun even more, Robson. Yeah, the names of the game are so clever. They all come from the community, which is why they're so awesome. Uh, you messed with me, Chili Pug? Where did you mess with me? A pepper spray. That's pretty good. What's this exception? Highlighting. So why is the bow lighting itself on fire? Because... <laughs> oh, I'm silly, 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 silly. Currently, what the bow does is it checks to see if there's a player in front of you, 
fire in front of you or an actor in front of you. And if there's a player in front of you, just light this off on fire. The other person is lit. Exactly. What's up, Dion friend? Get most kills five games in a row online and you win like an epic skin. That'd be cool. I did, I've always wanted to make a, a game mode, like an event game mode, similar to Gun Game and Call of Duty. Is that Call of Duty or is that Counter-Strike? Or both? I don't remember. But it's like the game mode where every time you kill someone, your gun changes into a different gun. And then if you die, your gun goes back to the first type of gun. Um, that could be really cool. About another shotgun called the Grape Shot. I saw a, a fun grape idea on the Discord too, called the Grapling Hook. And that made me really happy because my first game was about grappling hooks. And I don't know how I never thought of that, those two puns together before. If our player... Look ahead. What's the problem here? Head for any burning actors or burning triggers. A grape and an apple for a grapple. Oh, that's pretty good, Sparky. That's pretty good. Dragon Spear, the weapon shoots out three tiny seeds rapidly like a burst assault rifle. Each seed deals eight damage. The weapon is based off a of dragon fruit. That's a really cool idea. What's up, Jam and Joe? Those weapon ideas are absolute genius, guys. I love them. Uh, so we're going to look ahead. We're going to say... Uh, so we already did this, didn't we? With the burning trigger? Or is that... No, that's with the arrow. Burn trigger equals fire hit. Stop. Transform. Forgot what I was doing. Am I reading helper apps? What? Do you have 3D modeling, Sethi? I do. I made uh, the characters and so and some of the environments and all the animals. Mushroom bombs. That's pretty great. Is it called? It's not called burning trigger. It's called burn trigger. I guess I should do this. Melee weapon that's called Grass Knuckles. That's amazing. Swing for testers. Yeah, whenever we do um, beta tests of new stuff, I will uh, do a stream like this and get everyone on. Um, if you want to be a tester, definitely hang out on the stream. Being active in the Discord will get you in on tests for new, new stuff. We did a horde mode test a few months ago before the horde mode came out, and that was really fun. We probably won't have enough time to test this one publicly. Probably do all the tests internal, but the update after that, hopefully we can do more public testing. Laser beans is pretty great. Post the picture of Dragon Spitter in Discord. Nice. Uh, it's better if you post them in the weapons channel and not DM them to me because I'll actually see them there more often than not.
Damn it, only players burn? You make a logo uh, for what dark shadow bamboo crossbow pretty great what's up isaiah how's it going uh yeah you could you could post a link rbs you do use mubots that'd be great wait sloth and i already did it <laughs> damn sloth you're too fast fastest knobs in the west Really, I thought it would have been longer than one year and 11 months. Has it really only been that long? You have the game right now, a Dark Shadow? Oh, no worries. Hopefully it'll be on console in the next few months-ish, -ish? I don't know. Yeah, gun game, that's how I want to make wraps in. Go through all the guns three times, starting with the rocket launcher, ending with the grenade, and everyone has infinite ammo each time. Oh, infinite ammo! Wow. If each time you get back to rocket launcher, all damage you do afterwards gets 20% lower. Interesting. You unfollow? Damn, Sloth. Damn. What, did I just accidentally build? Four years and one week? Wow. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> that's a thing. Gorian, thank you for the follow. If you're watching the show you didn't follow it already hit that follow button to get alerted when i go live next to work on more shotgun farmers content dark shadow mage thank you for the follow Game needs more mobility in your opinion, Enzo. What uh what do you mean by mobility? The video Dragon Spinning Weapons channel. Awesome, Gorian. I will take a look at it after the stream. A jetpack would be pretty crazy. I have an idea for a launch pad. So I prototyped this. I don't even think it's in this branch. Um, I prototyped like a launch pad like thing a long time ago. I want to say maybe like two or three years ago. The beat shield is pretty great. Uh, the idea was a fluffy sheep. And if you bounce, if you jump onto the sheep, oh, one second, guys. So yeah, there's a big fluffy sheep, and if you bounce on the sheep, then uh, it'll actually launch you into the air and you can use it as a jump pad. Weapon that freezes players like a snap pea shooter. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There is a snowball game mode. It only happens during the winter though.
Um, oh yeah, okay, so you can see if players don't light the player or arrows don't randomly light on fire anymore. My glasses are pretty thick. Waiting for the game to start. There's two you can't see. I have surprisingly good vision, but I can't see text, which makes it impossible to code and stuff without my glasses. What? Why am I here? Root cars? Oh my goodness. A Baba character? <laughs> that would be the name, wouldn't it? What was it? What have I been working on? Oh yeah, let's see if it catches on fire. If I go near a player, it should no longer catch on fire near them. Also, you notice your cursor turns green when you hover over somebody who you can heal. Might be hard to see on stream. No longer catching on fire, but I should be able to dip this into the fire over here. Oh, well, that just lit me on fire. It doesn't count. Maybe my ray is too small. I guess no matter how, if you, no matter how close you get, it's gonna light you on fire, so. Oh, there we go. I lit it on fire. The, t the back is also on fire, which is kind of annoying. It looks like your arm's on fire, but it's actually just the back that's on fire. Huh. Why didn't you catch on fire? What? Wrong thing. I need an enemy. They're not lighting on fire. They did before. Their dead bodies on fire, but they weren't on fire. Weird. I swear I had a. Oh, there we go. B makes me light on fire. Oh, not. But also makes me taunt. See, that time it worked. So it seems to be not working all the time. Well, it's a start. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, we gotta teach bots how to use this weapon too. The new model looks a lot better. I don't know if Dennis is still around. Oh, yes. Um, the vines are sticking out much more through the arm, Dennis. Awesome job. And the uh, strawberry is definitely looking a nicer, a really nice polygon count now. It's nice and round. Great job, dude. Maybe you don't arrow a horse in the butt. A what? It went through the butt. Ah, yeah, we'll fix that still. Uh, sorry, Dark, Dark Shadow. We're not giving away any free copies of the game currently. Do you think that should have been a kill? If I headshot him from this distance with the arrow, that should be an instant kill, right? I have to increase the damage then. Like, from right here, should this headshot be an instant kill. Uh, please don't use language like that in chat, Dark Shadow. Tell me what Nene is so much fun. It really is. I love it. It's one of my favorite things in the game. Sometimes I'll get myself killed just waiting for someone to run by the horse. Like that. Well, I guess that was further away, so that was a kill. So my distance factor is actually bad. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. Arrow does damage based on distance here, but then it multiplies the headshot factor afterwards. So 
So if headshot damage times equals two R. So we're actually multiplying headshot damage. Yeah, I love, I love watching myself go flying sometimes when that happens too. Oh, I didn't save. A raspberry? You think it looks like a raspberry? Will Shocker Harmons be out on PS4, Jack Wolf? I can't say yet, but as soon as I know, I'll tell you. Frankie, thank you for the follow. Maybe there's a detail about the shotgun popcorn. Thanks, Shiba. One of my favorite things, little popcorns that shoot out of the shotgun. If you ever have other ideas for little details we can add to other weapons too, please let me know. Um, the rocket launcher, the rocket actually spins. Actually, that's one of the things the arrow needs to spin when it's flying, right? Do arrows spin? No, no, no. Arrows just fly straight, I think. Never shot an arrow. I want to say they fly straight. Um, like, I think the sniper shell could be more interesting. Right now, it's just like a, a, a cylinder that comes out. Maybe something cooler. Stretch time alarm. We got to bring that back someday. Once I can get a bigger screen, so my screen's not like right here, we can do stretch time again. A cherry bow MB. Arrows do spin when they launch? Okay. Slothinator, oh my goodness. Gifting a sub to Isaiah by Dea Slothinator. Thank you so very much for another gifted sub. 15 gifted subs to this channel, you damn jerk. Thank you so much, dude. And Isaiah, hope you enjoy your new emotes. All right, so that was way more satisfying because I feel like it's really hard to hit people in the head with the bow and arrow. If you headshot them from a distance, it should kill them. So the pots don't know what the hell to do when they have the bow. They're just like, I'll just go over here. I'll just go over there. I'll just catch on fire, I guess. I'm not sure. What should I do? Should I shoot that guy? Should I shoot that guy? It's really cool to see them take the arrow out, though. So yeah, so now, um, when this update comes out, you go to the lobby, which might not work, actually. Let me try it. Uh, the Valentine's date will be in, a, in effect. Um, and so when you hit play, there'll be a new game mode here and it's called Straw Bowery Fields. And that's a game mode where everyone spawns with a bow and arrow. Little ghost of you comes out to you respawn. That'd be hilarious. The sniper shell should be a tiny asparagus. That could work. A broccoli shield. There was an idea like three years ago for the Brock action rifle that I liked a lot. I'm not sure how it would fit into the game since it would be slower than the other weapons. Oh, is there a new texture, Dennis? And a new model? Wah! Wait, did I miss a texture update? My bad. I've been working on this uh, three point something years. The first line of code for Shotgun Farmers is written on October 28th, 2016 or something, right? I think that's right. 
What's up, Southern Cross? It's going pretty good. Going pretty good. How are you? Okay, here's the new texture. Ah, nice. So Dennis added some notches, if you guys can see them. There are notches. I don't know why I'm pointing. You can't see my finger. There are notches along the bow now and much a lot more wood texture. Sweet, dude. That looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's a wood bow if I'd ever seen one. It also breaks up the monotony of the bow and makes it so it's like a little more asymmetrical. I also love nachos, Dr. Argus. Assassinated. Oh crap, what happens when you melee? How do you melee? Uh, what do you, oh, I didn't even expect animation. I didn't do a melee animation. How the hell do you melee in this game? Oh, R. Okay. Oh, there's no animation, so it just doesn't happen. I just realized another little tiny bug is that when you're aiming at a teammate, it'll actually think you can heal them through a wall. And turn green. Okay, so uh Yeah, you can melee with a shotgun. That's a pretty major gaping problem. Oh melee animation for bow. Uh, it would be really cool if you take the arrow and stab the person with it, but uh that's not possible. Next game, how do you mail in the game? Look, man, it's been a long time. You said notches. I want to hear nachos. Oh. Imagine if when you... Uh, there's like a delay. When the pumpkin explodes. Imagine if like the moment you start pulling the string, it actually goes into bullet time and everything's in slow motion. That wouldn't work. It's online. Should you be able to melee with a bow and arrow? That's a good question. I want to say the answer is probably, but that could be a balance thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but uh, this is, just a second. This is you uh, running with a shotgun. This is my speed. This is your speed running with a shovel, which is much faster. Anyone doesn't know it's 1.4 times faster than running with a gun. This is your speed running with a bow. It's just as fast as running with a shovel. You're super fast when you have a bow. Take the arrow and stab the neck. Yeah, so I can't actually do that because of the way the arrow is in your other hand. It is actually placed in between the fingers of the, of the farmer. So I want to actually move it to be in like a stabby spot. It would be a bit more work. Wouldn't be that much more work. It would be a, oh crap. There's no, oh crap. Wait, wait. The, the bow plant's messed up. The texture's wrong. How'd this happen? There it is. The string. The string looks green. It probably should be green, but I think the UVs are screwed up. Uh, combined bow needs to update to new model and texture. Uh, currently the bow has 12 ammo. I have no idea what the right amount is going to be. Sometimes I feel like 12 is too little, but I think anymore it'll be too powerful. It doesn't go black when it shrinks. Oh, does it? Does it not? This is a good bow plant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stayed colorful, right? Yep, okay. Bow plant doesn't turn black when shrinking. Thank you very much for that. Oh, I'm on fire. 
I'm dead. I thought I'm doing an egg gun. Uh, yeah, but right now I want to keep all the guns to vegetables and fruits. I don't want a gun that promotes killing baby chickens. Normally six in a quiver. Okay. That's something to consider. Yeah, if I have time in the next update, I'll probably add a quiver. But right now, there's probably not going to be time to do that. All right. Well, we've got the bow to a pretty good place compared to before, especially with lighting it on fire and fixing some of the weird... Oh, I didn't check the ragdoll bugs. Hold on. I'm trying to kill this guy. Just got to make sure the bodies are falling in the right direction. It seems more correct. It's not falling towards me. It's falling away from me. Which seems correct. Okay. Well, it is time for me to get going. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out today. We made a huge amount of progress in the strawberry. Uh, next, I got to work on the Cupid costume. Probably going to be doing that all day tomorrow. And then the Valentine's Day update will be pretty ready, minus all the thousands of bugs I'm sure we're going to find. Uh, Castaway, see ya. Thank you for hanging out. If you enjoyed the show so far, please make sure you hit that follow button. If you're on mobile, I think it's like that away. And if you're on, if you're on desktop, it's like over there. Um, Make sure you hit that follow button. You get notifications when I go live. Uh, join the Shotgun Farmers Discord if you're not in there already. Um, and if you want to see more behind the scenes content, make sure you follow me on TikTok for cool and fun videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for all your amazing gun ideas. There were some hilarious, some absolutely hilarious gun ideas today. Um, some that I think might make it into the game relatively soon once we can figure out how to actually get the crop drops working so we can drop more guns into the game as well. Uh, let's go see... Who's doing some streaming? So if you've never rated, rated before, the way rating works on Twitch is I'm gonna put a streamer's link in chat. We're all gonna head into their channel and we're gonna spam them with this message saying Quasi Farm Ray to show them where we came from and see what they're doing on their stream. So let's go see who's doing some game dev streaming out in the stream world. Ah, oh, well, of course, we've gotta go check out our good friend, Bull Killer Games. Um, who is working on something probably. Yes, okay. Um, so we are gonna be raiding Volkiller Games. Whoops, ads, ads. So make sure you hit the join raid button up above the chat to join in our raid. Copy that raid message and once the channel switches over, we're gonna go raid Volkiller and show them some support. I hope to see you guys next time for the next stream. Whatever you do before then though, try not to die. Thank you, bye.